Last week, Fox debuted not one, but two trailers for The Wolverine, a domestic trailer and an international trailer. The two were considerably different, with fans overall agreeing that the international trailer was superior. So as many lamented over the domestic trailer, myself included, fans across the internet pleaded that us naysayers check out the international trailer. In short, it was a bit of a cluster Now how would you like to see that happen with an entire movie? And you will, this year, with Iron Man 3. Yes, Marvel Studios has announced they will be releasing two versions of the film, one for pretty much everyone, and then a special edition for China. What? Immediately, the Hollywood PR machine spun into action, floating out the idea of diehard fans flying to China or being flown by the likes of shows like Nerdist and such to check out the alternate version. Wouldn't that be fun? No, no it would not. Hollywood, people are already complaining that movie ticket prices are too high, and now you want them to buy a plane ticket too? So, what's said to be the difference between the two versions? Well, according to the Marvel Studios press release, everyone will get to see the scenes shot in Beijing, as well as Chinese actor Wang Zhuqi and some product placement for Chinese electronics manufacturer TCL. But only the Chinese edition will feature a special appearance by China's top actress Fan Bingbing. That top actress status, though, is apparently debatable according to fans on the internet, and will also feature special bonus footage made exclusively for the Chinese audience. Are they talking bits and pieces here and there? An entirely new action sequence or comedy sequence? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but not for too long. Iron Man 3 premieres in Beijing on April 6th. Why is Marvel Studios even doing this? They'd probably tell you it's to strengthen their relationship with DMG Entertainment, the Chinese production company that helped make and fund Iron Man 3. And privately, Marvel Studios would probably admit it was to suck up to China's growing movie audience, which last year bought almost $3 billion worth of movie tickets, a 37% increase from the previous year. Yet some are claiming there's a third reason, China's heavy censorship of the films shown in their country. And I'm sure that board just loves American movies, or at least special versions of them, that showcase communist China and how awesome it is. So, are you going to play along and scour the internet for the Chinese version, and possibly even buy it if it becomes available? Or do you agree with Hollywood that it might be fun to fly to China and see their version in theaters for yourself? As for BTT's viewers in China, are you excited to get your own version of the movie? Do you think it will be special or censored? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.